Hi, and welcome to this section of the Geometry Tutor where we're going to talk about uh, our first 3D shape that we've really uh, had the opportunity to talk about. And we're going to talk about the surface area of a prism, of the simplest prism that you can really define. So first of all, we're going to talk about what is a prism, and we're going to, to actually calculate the area, the surface area of a prism. So the question is, what's a, what's a prism? And we'll talk a little bit more about this um, as we go along here later. But basically, a prism is a three-dimensional object, okay? A three-dimensional object with some sort of polygon at its base. So what we're going to talk about today is a rectangular prism. And so in your head, when you're thinking about this section before I've drawn anything on the board, um, think about uh, the, the think about a shoebox, some sort of some sort of you know three dimensional ice chest shoebox, you know any any kind of box. It has some length, okay. It has some width and it has some height, but it's just a it's just a rectangle on the bottom and it's a three dimensional box. That's that's what a rectangular prism is. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to calculate the surface area of that rectangular prism, uh, which just means. Uh, if you were to, to calculate the surface area, you would look at the surface area of all of the sides, all the way around that thing, and you would, you would add everything up. Okay, so first of all, let's, let's write some of this down so we're not just talking all day. Uh, a rectangular prism Okay, rectangular prism, okay? Basically, you can think of it as, as a 3D box, okay? some sort of rectang rectangular shaped three-dimensional box. So the, the easiest way to look at it is just to sort of draw one. And, and I know you guys are gonna have an easy time at, at thinking about this. Okay, there's part of it, goes on like this, goes on like this, okay, like this. Okay, there you go. There's your rectangular prism. And then, uh, you know, just for clarity, just for clarity in red, I'm gonna kind of draw the hidden lines here. You kind of have a hidden line in the back that goes kind of down like this, kind of like this, over like that. Okay, so you see what I'm talking about. It's a box. That's all it is. See, geometry is full of these fancy words. Rectangular prism. What does that mean? Well, here's a rectangular prism. It's a box. You have tons of them in your house. You're probably looking at some right now. Okay, so what we want to do is first define some terms, and then we're going to calculate the surface area of this prism. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is define some terms. Okay. One of these flat sides of this prism is called a face. It is a face of, of, of uh, one of the faces of this uh, rectangular prism. Okay? This thing right here, I think you all would agree, is called the edge. But I'm just defining it just so you know what, what, you're, what terms you're supposed to use in your geometry class. Okay? And in this corner, you really don't use the term corner in, uh, in geometry too much. You call it a vertex. Okay, so we're just getting some definitions out of the way. You have this rectangular prism, it's just a box. One of the sides of the box is called a face. Uh, here is an edge, basically as, as, a, as the two sides come together, it forms an edge, and one of the points down here is called a vertex. Now notice you have six faces, okay, on this shape here. You know, one face here, two, three on the bottom, four in the back, five on this side and six on this side. So if you count all the sides, you can just sort of get a cube out in front of you and count them. You'll find that, that every cube or every rectangular prism is going to have six faces, okay? So how are we going to find the surface area of this? And by the way, when I say the surface area of this prism, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the total surface area of all the faces added together. So that, that kind of tells you the answer how we're gonna tackle it. We're going to find the area of this face we're going to find the area of this face, this face, this face, the top, the bottom, the sides, and we're going to add them all up. We're going to have six faces, so we're going to add up six little bitty surface areas, and that 